COVID-19 crisis is a test of how far we have come as a global city and a nation. <clears throat> how we respond will determine how far we will go. Singapore's dual identity as both a city and a nation has given us agency, nimbleness, and unique strengths. But it has also conferred upon us some unique challenges, which we have turned into successes. In the face of new threats and opportunities, we must continue to stay open as a global city, yet closely knit as one people and one nation. Over the next few months, we'll continue to study ways to help our businesses and people emerge stronger. Our consultations for Budget 2021 have already begun. The Emerging Stronger Task Force is pressing on with the Alliances for Action to seize growth opportunities for Singapore, even as we deal with COVID-19. I've also set up teams to look into how we can better support workers and households in a post-COVID world. Our battle with COVID-19 is far from over, and the road ahead in a post-COVID world will be uncertain. But I'm confident that if we stay open and nimble, we stay open and stay united, we'll continue thriving as an exciting and vibrant global city and emerge stronger as a cohesive and resilient nation. And most important of all, we must retain our core values. Three days ago, one Mr. Seem, who was on MC, wrote to us. He was very concerned about the public discussions that we were having, particularly on the use of reserves. And let me quote. He said, Singapore could not afford instability, not like big country. Once our reserves are used up, Singapore is gone. You will be forever gone. We don't have natural resources to fall back on. So, Mr. Speaker, sir, I thank all members for your comments, and I leave you with this sobering thought from one of our residents, former citizens. Thank you.